All right, guys, so we're going to start a new little series called, uh, not really called anything, but it's basically just a day in the life of a detailer. I, you know, I have a detailing business. We also do interior leather and vinyl repair. We're going to group all that together. Um, we also do odor removal. Um, anyways, that's all going to be grouped together. Today we have a really short day. We're just going to be doing two washes for a customer, um, and then I have to come back home. Uh, my daughter's uh, got gymnastics today, so I'll run her over to that. So we're gonna actually going to start this day in the life uh, as actually it's going to be two days. So I'll, I'll film today these washes, and then we'll film tomorrow. Uh, when I have some dealership work. So stay tuned for that. I'm just going to get my truck ready and uh, get going here. All right, guys. So first things first, I still have a bunch of uh, interior repair product in here right now. So I'm going to take that out and just get all my detail stuff ready because um, that's all I'm doing today. All right, guys. And so to save a bunch of money, um, we only use brand new towels, um, but we do buy Costco. Um, there's good and bad to these, but we, we do just toss them after one use. Uh, today's just washes, so we'll use it on that. If we're doing a full paint correction or uh, you know a complete detail or something, we actually use different towels on the paint and just use these on um, wheels, interior, and things like that. But for our wash today, we'll be using these guys. All right, so I need to refill my tire dressing and also my uh, SiO2 spray quick detail spray. It's actually from Technician's Choice. Really amazing product. I used to use bead maker and now I'm using this. You can buy it on Amazon. I buy it by the five gallon jug and it's actually more cost effective that way. Stuff works great, smells good. Really hydrophobic, really good to apply. It's super slick when you apply it and it lasts longer than bead maker in my opinion. For my tire dressing, I use AquaShine from CarGlow. It's a local manufacturer here in Southern California. Stuff works great, it's cheap. Smells good. Um, you can dilute it down to use on interiors. You can use it on engines. It's a water-based dressing, uh, which is what I like. I don't use, like to use the uh, solvent-based dressings, um, so we'll stick to this. So as you guys can see, I actually keep my uh, detailed chemicals really simple. Um, I really carry four different chemicals. So I use a, a carpet cleaner, an all-purpose cleaner, my ceramic detail spray, tire dressing, compound polish, and uh, cleaner wax. Um, Depending on the service, I also do carry some other higher grade waxes as well. Um, but I also do ceramic coatings and all that kind of stuff. So uh, this is my basic little chemical box. Super simple. Keep it simple. Keep it easy. When I first started, I uh, bought in from a company and they sold me maybe five different waxes, three different compounds, three different polishes. Like it was just overkill. I never used all that product. Um, I found finding the product that you like to use the most, the product you're really familiar with, and sticking to those works best. Um, obviously different paints do require some uh, alterations in that. Um, you know, if it's a harder paint, you may need to go with a more aggressive, uh, more aggressive compound or polish. So, uh, but in general, this is what works perfectly. And uh, I do have other stuff in my, in my bins here, but this is my, my go-to, so. Uh, we're gonna get on the road, and uh, actually, I'm gonna go take my daughter to school. Then I'll get in the get on the road and uh, get this going. All right, guys. So just dropped off my daughter at school. We're on the road, heading up to uh, heading up to Carlsbad to take care of this customer. Uh, there's a lot of traffic right now, early in the morning, so it's probably gonna take 35 minutes or so to get there. Uh, this is not my usual deal. This is a new customer. We're building a relationship and I'm working on building more business just within that tight bubble of Carlsbad um, to build more business there. So I'm doing these jobs. I wouldn't normally do this, right? So I'm going out to do two washes. Um, it's gonna be 110 bucks for the two of them. You know, it, that's fine. My, my hourly rate while I'm working will be fine. I'll you know, average 50 bucks an hour. I usually like to try and keep it around 75 an hour. But 50 is okay when we're uh, you know trying to build a new new client base in a certain geographic area. However, uh, if you factor in the time that I have to drive up there and back, it's kind of defeats the purpose, right? I'm not making the hourly that I want to be doing. Um, but we're trying to grow it. Um, I figured it'd be good for you guys to see how we work on growing a specific area. So that's what we're doing. I'm hitting the road. We'll uh, pick up when we get there.
All right, guys, so we just finished up. Um, some of the nicest people, this is the second time I've done their cars. Like I said, I'm trying to build this area up more. Um, they're a really nice couple. They actually own um, a business, uh, they're a business brokerage, um, but they have two BMW X5s, super nice people, so I enjoy working with them. We're gonna head home now. Uh, I gotta meet a guy I'm selling some old tires from one of my other vehicles. Uh, I just got that Sprinter van. Um, the, the tires have like 500 miles or something on them, so I'm just, I put them on offer up. Some guys can come pick them up. So we're gonna head home and do that right now. All right, hey guys, uh, so tires are gone. Just took my daughter to gymnastics. We just got back. I'm gonna be prepping my truck now uh, for work tomorrow. Uh, I don't have any details lined up or car washes lined up, but I do have some of my dealership work um, doing some interior repairs. So um, first dealership in the morning, I go and I just check the lot for uh, cars with odors and I treat the odors using ozone machines and, uh, and a collection of other different chemicals to, to neutralize the odors um, on with, on the, within their lot. Um, so I'll get that done. Um, I go there really early. I'll take you guys along with me. We'll check in in the morning. Uh, so we'll start there. Then I'll go to, over to one of my other dealerships where we touch every car uh, on the used car lot. Any new pre-owned vehicle that came up on their lot, we, we go through. We install plastics in the front to keep the, the carpets clean until the car sells. We vacuum it out. We do any kind of final detailing work that the on-site detailers didn't really do a good job with. Um, and then on top of that, if that's all the car needs, perfect. If it needs any repairs, then we'll do that as well. So uh, we'll take you along for that. And then um, we'll go to one of my independent dealerships uh, and walk the lot, see what kind of work they have uh, for the cars that uh, they just got in there, do any repairs as needed also there. And then if I have time, I'm gonna be trying to uh, get a new account. It's actually right by one of my other ones. Uh, they have a ton of used cars out on the lot. Um, and I don't know if they have anybody doing what I do. So I'm gonna see um, about that. I'll stop in and see, uh, I can't remember the guy's name. Go talk to him and uh, see if we can drum up some new business that way. So uh, stay tuned, um, I'm just gonna get my truck ready now. Uh, we'll do a little time lapse of it. But other than that, um, I will see you guys in the morning. Peace. All right, good morning everyone, day two. Um, it's bright and early, it's about 5 a.m. right now. Not bright and early, it's early, dark and early. Um, so we're gonna be heading out to my first dealership. Probably won't film much there because it's so dark, uh, but we'll give you an update after that and then uh, we'll head over to the next one. But uh, here we go, day two. All right guys, so first dealership is done. Uh, just do odor removal at that dealership. I charged $65 a car and uh, I had four cars to do. So we're all done over there, it was 260 bucks. Uh, out of there, I'm at my second dealership now. Um, I actually just walked the lot and I have a total of 13 cars, uh, new pre-owned vehicles that came up onto the lot. And uh, seven of them need repair. The other six, I just put plastic uh, protective sheets on the floorboards. Um, to keep the keep the vehicle clean between now and the time that they sell it, so um, I'll be doing that, and then also you know vacuuming and, and uh, doing some basic vacuuming and wipe downs if it, they need it. Um, so for this kind of service, where I touch every new pre-owned car that comes up, um, I charge thirty-five dollars to the dealership per vehicle. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get after it right now. Uh, go take care of the ones that need the repairs, and then I will check in with you in a little bit here when we're done. All right, we're all done. Uh, just finished up all the cars. Um, again, 13 cars, uh, 35 bucks a piece, so I just made $455, plus the 260 I did this morning. So we're at 715, it is currently 
10 a.m. So good start to the day. Uh, I'm gonna go drop the, the bill off and then um, I'm gonna be going to one of my other independent dealerships, seeing what they have. And then we'll see you on time um, if I'm gonna stop by any new, new dealerships to try and drum up some new business. So uh, stay tuned, we're heading over to the next one. All right, guys, I just got to this other uh, other dealership of mine and it is dead over here. They usually have probably about 60 cars in the lot. Um, I would say they probably only have about 30 right now. So they're going to auction. They're going to be buying a bunch of cars. So it's going to get busy here within the next week or so, or a couple days to a week. Um, but for today, it's just dead. So uh, I'm going to run over to another dealership that's right in the area and try and drive up some business over there. Um, just I'm basically I printed up a proposal for them. I'm just going to go talk to the guy that I need to talk to. Um, and uh, see if we can get something going down the road. So um, I'll update you guys after that and we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so uh, I went by that new dealership that I'm trying to get. Uh, the main guy that I need to talk to was not there. However, I did leave behind my, uh, my little proposal for him. I walked the majority of the used car lot, found a bunch of cars that need repair, so that's a good sign that they don't have somebody currently doing that. Um, so. Yeah, I, I think uh, I'm gonna be sending him an email now, heading to the office and sending him an email, and I think that that, uh, that should come through. I'm feeling pretty confident about that account. Fingers crossed. Uh, then after that, just went back to the dealer previous to that one where they didn't have any uh, any any new cars, uh, but just went and grabbed a check they I, from the last month. I don't I don't collect a check every time from them, so picked up a check for 1,260 from them. And uh, now I'm just gonna head home, get some lunch with my wife, um, and then uh, go pick up my daughter from school, and then I'll head into the office. But for, uh, for the day in the life purposes, this will be the end of it for this one. Again, it's 11.43 right now. I'm heading home to go get some lunch with my wife, relax the rest of the day, hang out with my kids. It's a good life. Um, I'm gonna be working on getting more accounts, like I said, just so I can continue to do this every day. Because right now I have one big day during the week and then the other days of the week are just, you know, they're okay, but not nearly as good as the, that one day. So uh, I'm gonna focus on putting a lot of effort into creating that one big day five days a week. So, um, you know, start really making some, some serious money with that, as well as investing my time into some of my other, some of my other businesses that we'll talk about down the road. All right, guys, uh, we'll see you on the next one. We'll do another day in life and, uh, Probably, I don't know, maybe for Friday and Saturday or something. All right, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.